It's more fun when you can take everything you want along, so why not take it all in an Outlaw Toy Hauler? Hi, I'm Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Outlaw 29J. Starting at the control panel, I wanted to give you a look at the Outlaw with the slides in. Now remember, when you do put your slides out, you do need to have your engine running and you do need to have your parking brake on. Simply hit the extend button and your slide will go out. While the slide is going out, let's talk about some of the other features that you do have on this control panel. Your generator start and stop button is found up here. You do have a shore power fault in case you get bad electricity at wherever you happen to be plugged in. You can check your tank levels. You can turn on your tank heaters. You can turn on your water pump. This is your HVAC. And this is where you control your auto leveling, your one touch hydraulic jacks. And again, remember, these need to be down before you put your slide wall out. And now that the slide is out, I'm gonna spin around and show you all the great living space you have inside your Outlaw. What's great about this Outlaw is the amount of space you have in your living area. First, 84 inch interior height, a lot of width to stand in here. You'll notice the opposing sofas. I do wanna point out that you do have two seat belts on each sofa. You're gonna notice four places in the floor. Those are for your two tables, which are conveniently stored right under here, and they are real easy to set up. You can use these tables however you want. Maybe it's meals, maybe it's getting some work done. How about family game night? You gotta love that, right? And while you are involved in that game, you're gonna be focused on that. You don't want any distractions, right? But you want your devices charged. I love this feature. Look at this, wireless charging right up here. Now, maybe your phone isn't equipped with wireless charging. That's all right. It has a USB-A and a USB-C port, so you can keep all your devices charged. All right, so let's say that somebody, probably the kids, is hogging that wireless charger. Look at this. Two USB-A ports right here. You can put your device right in here and keep that charged. That way it's ready to go when you connect to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Yes, you have Wi-Fi on the road wherever you happen to go. It's really easy to set up. You have a safe, secure internet connection. You can also tap into a nearby Wi-Fi signal and create your own private connection with just one easy login. This is a great seating option. On top of the sofas, let's say you have some friends over maybe you met some new buddies at the campsite check this out swivel captain's chairs and if you need a little more leg room you can go ahead and put this filler seat in and then when it's time to call it a night what's great are two sleeping areas yes you have one in the garage but we're going to start right up here with your sofas you wouldn't know it by looking at it but right here up front three sleeping areas you have these sofas quickly jackknife into a bed and then in the morning you make them right back into a couch we have our overhead bunk, 800 pound capacity. You have this retractable ladder. It saves space, it stores in the closet. Simply put that into place and you can easily sleep too up here. If you have a little one that may be afraid of sleeping up here, real easy as we do have these safety nets you can hook up just like that. We also have our TV up here. So our TV is powered by a 1,000 watt entertainment inverter. So when you're on the road, there's no reason to fire up that 4,000 watt generator if you don't want to, but you can to keep the ACs running. But with the inverter running, you can go ahead and watch TV when you're on the road. There's an HDMI distribution box, so you can hook up a video game, maybe even a streaming device, and you can connect that in to the wine guard that we just talked about. So right now I wanna talk about the way this looks three decor choices. These are great. You have Roadhouse. This is called Street Blues. And here you have Midnight Special. You can pair any of those up with Carolina Cherry or the Irish Maplewood. And behind these beautiful cabinets, look at all this room. Hey, toss the backpacks up here, right? Easy access when you head out on a hike and you have a lot more room back here in this excellent campsite kitchen. So let's check out this kitchen because this is fully equipped. First, we're gonna talk space. You have a flip up countertop. You have covers for the sink. So maybe you're gonna cover one side. You're gonna use it for your cookbook. You have this three burner gas cooktop with glass cover. And down below, this is not an oven. Look at that, this is more storage. You can do all your baking and roasting in the convection microwave up above. Right across, you have your double door fridge. And right here, bring along all the grub you need. You have a pantry, and right next door, you have your closet. 
One of the best parts about traveling in a motor home is having your own bathroom. And in the outlaw, you have the space and privacy you need. So there's no waiting in line for showers and wondering if there's even hot water at the campsite bathhouse. Check this out. Plenty of room on the counters. Keep your dry towels below. Yep, that is a porcelain for flush toilet. You have a skylight in the shower, even tankless hot water. You can set the perfect temp right here. So this is everything you need in an RV bathroom. One more door to open. And this leads to the garage. This is what makes a toy hauler a toy hauler. We are in the garage. I love it back here. You're gonna love it back here too. I do wanna point out, you do have a 1,000 pound capacity back here. Keep that in mind when you're loading up your toys and attaching them to the tie downs. And then when it's time for entertainment, check this out. We do have speakers tied into the Bluetooth coach radio system. This is app enabled so you can stream all of your favorite songs. You have controls for your rear light, your ceiling light, your spotlights. You have a 12 volt jump station. So let's say that something needs a jump start. Something needs a little charge. You can do that right here. You have a USB plug. So let's say that you have unloaded the dirt bikes. You're gonna hit the trail. You can use the toolbox for tools. Maybe you wanna keep them in shape or maybe you wanna set up your drone to follow you as you hit that new path. You do have vents back here as well. As we head over to the other side, talking entertainment, right? Maybe you got some chairs on the patio. You have a TV right back here. You have a 5,000 BTU AC. And we talked about separate sleeping areas. This is sleeping area number two. Queen size bed, press of a button right here, lowers. Look at that, great sleeping back here. And, and with that down, if you would like, if you're in an area where you feel like, you know what, the sounds and nature are gonna lull me to sleep, you do have this nice magnetic door. And you also have this great table. You can use it here or you can bring it outside. Maybe in here, you're gonna set up your tablet and follow along on a YouTube video on how to fix something or how to do something. Maybe you're gonna have a nice cold drink right here. You can set it outside. We'll show you where you can set it up when we go out there, but maybe it's out there and using it as uh, entertainment or maybe you're using it to dry towels. It has multiple purposes. You can take the top off and you can use just the rack to hang your towels, whatever it is that you need to do. I'm gonna head out to the patio. This is also your loading ramp, 1800 pound capacity. Let me show you how this thing sets up. Heading out to the patio. Yeah, a patio, how cool is this? You have an 1800 pound capacity. So you pull up to the lake, you're out here, you're fishing. You set up chairs, you hang out, you set up the railing, you put out the awning. This is a very cool place to be. This is so easy to use too, whether it's your loading ramp or your patio. It takes no time to set up and it's just as easy to tear down when you're ready to pack up camp and head to your next destination. So let's hit the road. All right, we got the Outlaw out on the road and because this is a classy motorhome, it drives very much like your daily driver, a large SUV or even a pickup truck. Over here, your heated remote mirror is real easy to adjust. On the very end of that mirror, you do have a side view camera and that is going to give you a nice clear image down the left or right side when you turn your directional on. That is going to be displayed right here on your infotainment screen. You have auto headlights, you can turn that into auto and when it gets dark out, your headlights will automatically come on. Right below that is your auxiliary start button. So in the event your chassis battery die, you hold that button in, you turn the key, you can use your house batteries to jump your chassis battery. Nice, easy to read gauges. You do have some very important information right there in the center. And the purpose of all this is to help you keep your eyes on the road. Just a quick glance down. You can look at your fuel economy. There are two trip meters. There are some driver assist functions. So you can go ahead and control those with the steering wheel controls right over here with your thumb. Right below that is your cruise control. We're getting ready to hit the highway and this is the E450 Super Duty. Ford put a 7.3 liter engine in this and it is kicking out 350 horsepower, 468 pound feet of torque. And as we get on this on-ramp, I am gonna show you what this Godzilla motor can do in a motorhome of this size. As we come up around the corner here, I'll show you just how easy it is to merge into traffic. And I like the sound of a push rod Ford V8. The torque kicks in at 3,900 RPM. To get that, Ford built this with a single overhead valve design and dual equal variable cam timing. So you're getting some great power through the power band. So here we go, hammer down, merging into traffic. 
no problem picking up. We are getting right up to speed. You can set your cruise control right to your destination. You have a six-speed torque shift transmission. It's designed, it's built by Ford for some heavy-duty usage. You have traction control as well for these 16-inch wheels. You also have a tow haul mode over here on the stock, and what this does is this is going to adjust your shift pattern. So let's say you're going downhill while you're towing something. It is going to take and downshift sooner. This way your transmission is not going to overheat when you have something attached to the hitch. And in the event you want to manually shift, when you shift gears, you're gonna take and select M, and then you have a plus and minus on the stock that you can use as well. As we work our way over to the center stack, standard HVAC controls, you have a button for your hazard lights, you have traction control, you have USB ports if you'd like to mirror your phone. And if we get into your infotainment center, Great hands-free calling. In most states now, you have to use Bluetooth. Really easy to set up here. If you'd like some radio, you can tune in your local stations. This also has Sirius XM satellite radio as well. Uh, Bluetooth music, if you have a favorite playlist on your phone, you can attach that. You can also take and keep your camera on at all times simply by hitting the camera button. So when we get these E450 chassis in, we get them in with nothing more than the cab and the engine. And then what we do is we ship it out to have it custom upfitted by Morai. It's the true flat floor foundation, and this is really going to do a couple of things for you. One, it is going to give you a level foundation for a solid house. It's also going to give you an improved drive. It's a great, easy to drive. You have armrest here, so you can settle in, adjust your seat for the perfect ride. And we're going to take that perfect ride right to camp, and I'm going to show you what is on the outside of this Outlaw 29J. First thing you'll notice on the outside, two new colors for 2022. This we call Motor City Blues. This is called Rockin' Red, and it certainly is rockin'. So let's walk around this entire motorhome front to back. A couple things we talked about when we were on the road. This is an E450 Super Duty. We did talk about and showed you those side view cameras, which give you a great view of what's behind you on these heated room mirrors. That is integrated right here. Your OCCC on this is 1,515 pounds, and your tip to tip length is 31 feet, two inches. As we move on down, do have a nice awning when we get to the door. We'll show you how to put that out. We do have beautiful, large storage base here that stay in the up position for you. You just latch them into place, load whatever you want in here. They have their own light, nice rotocast material. Hose them out when you are done on those muddy trails. Just a great setup for you. When you're done, you simply shut it, lock it, and you are good for the next adventure. Here's our entry door, which you're going to come in and out of so many times because you're going to be having such great adventures. A couple things to point out while we are in here. Your battery disconnect switch is in here, your solar controller. This has an optional 100 watts of solar charging. Some lights in here as well. The switch for your inverter we talked about. Remember the entertainment inverter? This is where you turn that on. And let's go ahead and put out our awning because you're going to want to set up some patio chairs out here, maybe a grill. Yes, you can grill on the road. We have an exterior propane connection. We'll show you exactly where that is, but our awning is out. There is a nice LED light strip that is right up top, so it casts a real nice glow. Oh, on a day like today, you are going to want a little bit of shade. It goes out just like that. <sighs> Love the shade. This is where you fill up your 40-gallon fresh water tank. A couple other features to talk about. In the garage, we showed you that portable table. This is where it mounts on the outside, and here's the great part. You can go ahead with this plug right here and plug in any, so let's say you got a blender, maybe you're mixing up some drinks, or how about you're having movie night? You pop in at the popcorn maker, and check this out. Movie night on your 32-inch TV. Right here, you can swivel it however you want. Put it away when you're done, lock it up, and away you go to your next movie night. Right down here, we showed you how to work the hydraulic leveling jacks. There you go, that is how you would troubleshoot them. You do have uh, some drains there as well on off switches, so when you're draining your uh, tanks and winterizing, that's where that's gonna happen. You do need a key to lock this. As we move on back, some exhaust ports and the storage bay. Where are you gonna keep those camping chairs? You're gonna keep them right in here. Look at that, you can throw 
whatever you want in there. Another nice rotocast bay, throw some camping chairs in there, maybe a, you know, a little wakeboard, whatever it is, you are ready to rumble wherever you're gonna go. Exterior propane connection. There you go, quick connect. All you have to do is take the hose, connect it to your grill, connect it right here with the chuck and you are grilling burgers, dogs, ribs, chicken steaks, whatever you need right outside at your campsite in your outlaw. So let's head around back and see what we have there and open up, show you how to work that patio. We showed you the backup monitor when we were inside. There is your camera. As we head down, we talked a little bit about tow haul. This is your 8,000 pound hitch. This is your seven pin connector. And remember when you are towing, it is GCWR minus GVW. This is real easy to put down. This locks for you. You can put padlocks on here. Simply take, pop that out of place. Slide this around, pop that out, grab a handle. And here is the patio, just like we showed you when we were inside. We got a lot of features to talk about over here. So let's see what we have. Let's start with this bay right over here. Another nice, large rotocast bay. You can throw some camping chairs, a few other things in here. There's your inverter, there's the override for your wall slides, and there is your automatic transfer switch that we talked about when we showed you your control panel. Right here, your fuel fill. Down here, a nice little convenient place to store your sewer hose, city water connection, 30 amp shore power cord. You can connect to cable right here at your campground. You have a nice exterior shower, hot and cold. Make sure your water pump is on for that. You can go ahead and flush your black tank right here. This is your generator exhaust. This is simply the plumbing for your tanks right over here. You're gonna have a 30 gallon black tank and a 34 gallon gray tank on this 29J. This is your generator that we had talked about. And right here is your propane tank. You're gonna love this. The outlaw is covered by a 12 year structural, six year lamination and one year limited warranty. You will not find a better warranty in the industry. This is the outlaw class C toy hauler. For all the features, specs, and to build your own, hop online and visit ThorMotorCoach.com.